Hey guys, this is Tyler with Crit Tits and Clicks. Gonna talk about the previews today that we had for DC Rebirth, I believe. Yeah, DC Rebirth. Um, we've got some really cool previews for this, guys. Uh, they're gonna have a lot of cool stuff in this set. Uh, my favorite's definitely gonna be the Dark Knight stuff. Huge Dark Knight uh, Metal is uh, the series. Huge Dark Knight uh, Metal uh, fan. I mean phenomenal phenomenal series pulling up the previews now to give you guys the rundown let's see okay so we have first up the chase the murder machine awesome the uh the murder machine is uh two starting clicks here let's see uh 200 and 100 um pretty good looking dial here let's see uh running shot Looks like Energy Explosion, Invincible, um, got a couple traits, we'll go over those for the White Powers, Outwit, Invulnerability, Blade, Sidestep, really liking the dial, um, not so much the point value, uh, let's see, let's get into the traits here, when the Murder Machine KOs an opposing character, doesn't include KOs by knockback damage. After resolutions, he may make an attack and can trigger multiple times per turn. That's uh, that's definitely sweet. Um, I don't know how many times that uh, you can pull that off. I'm sure it's definitely it's definitely situational, but I'm uh, I'm liking that. Let's see. Second trait here: reckless disregard for life once per turn when the murder machine targets and hits a single opposing character with a close attack. After resolutions, deal each uh, let's see each other character that is adjacent to either the murder machine or the target one penetrating damage includes friendly characters and usually the target. Hmm, that's pretty interesting. Definitely uh, another trait. Uh, God, this guy's got a lot of traits here. We uh, will not hide in the shadows. <clears throat> We will not hide in the shadows anymore. The murder machine occupies clear terrain and is targeted by a range attack, modified defense, plus one. When targeted by an opposing character that can use stealth, modified defense, plus one. When targeted by an opposing character occupying hinder hindering terrain, modified defense, plus one. The modifiers stack. That That's, that's great. That's great. Any any kind of extra um, extra defense is uh, any kind of extra modified modifier to the defense. Goodness, I can't talk today. Um, is amazing. Up uh, improved targeting for blocking. Um, great sculpt. Love the sculpt. Uh, definitely, definitely got to have this chase. I want all the chases just because it's one of my favorite series so far that they've came out with. Um, who else do we have here? Oh, we have Bizarro. Bizarro, uh, Superman. But j he's just called Bizarro, just so you know. Let's see. Uh, Outlaws, Brute Monster, keywords. Uh, he is a prime, a super rare. Um, he has, uh, 125 points. Looks like, um... Battle Fury, Toughness, Invulnerability, Impervious, Invincible, Outwit, uh, Charge, Sidestep, Quake, Super Strength, Precision Strike. Um, pretty good looking dial, kind of crazy. I guess what you expect from the Bizarro here. Uh, Dark Trinity trait, when Bizarro attacks, modify attack plus one for each other character with the Outlaw's keyword adjacent to the character. Or adjacent to the target, excuse me. When Bizarro hits one or more characters after resolutions, roll a d6. Four, th four on a four and five, a hit character gains a mobile until your next turn. On a six, all characters gain a mobile until your next turn. That is uh, two different traits. I forgot to break those up. One was Dark Trinity. One was Freeze Vision. Um, quite interesting. Improved movement through blocking. So when uh, Bizarro attacks, modify attack. That's uh, that's gonna be good and sealed. Definitely the Dark Trinity trait. I can uh, I can see where that's gonna be. That's gonna be good. I depending on how many outlaws we have in the set. Um, and the freeze vision. That's definitely that's definitely good in just about any situation. I mean, you can make somebody immobile. That can definitely stir the game up. Um, 
team ability. What is that? The outsider's team ability, right? Um, I could be wrong as what that is. I can't even remember what that team ability is. I'm not going to try to try to do that. Um, let's see. Who else do we have? Jericho. Um, he is a uncommon uh, 75 and 50 points. Uh, Teen Titans and armor uh team ability i mean excuse me teen titans team ability and teen titans and armor keywords let's see he is uh traded titans reborn when jericho's given a move action after resolutions he can use the teen titans ability at no cost oh that's really cool because you know the team titans ability is where you uh stand adjacent power action and heal one click and then you have to roll a d6 and on like i think it's a one through four you take a click of damage so that's pretty cool you can do it at no cost um white power for flight contact mind control sidestep when jericho uses mind control to target a single character and hits until your next turn when that character attacks all friendly characters can use shape change that succeed on a four through six that's uh that's good. A 50/50 shape change is always good. Always always. Uh let's see white power for sh- the defense uh icon shield at 32% of design limit. Toughness willpower. Jericho can use invincible instead of toughness when attacked by a character of lower points. That's uh that's pretty cool cuz you can play them at 75 and 50. Um perplex He's got the uh, the flight uh, trait across the entire dial. Um, perplex again uh, across four clicks, uh, just one damage though. Um, that uh, defense powers across four clicks. Teen Titans team ability, like I said, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool, uncommon. Um, let's see. I give uh, give the murder machine here. Look at the dial one more time. Give the give the murder machine a um, three out of six blades. Uh, just uh, not super not super good because the point value. Um, I like I like the keywords. Uh, I just give it give it a fifty fifty. Um, I could see it, it it having its its moment to shine definitely, uh, but that's why I give it a three. Three out of six. I'm just not in love with it. In love with the character, of course. But, you know, you can't always get uh, a playable character, as we know. So, let's see. Um, Bizarro. 125 points is hard to to do anything with, uh, just in the meta, in my opinion. Um, Outlaws, Brute, Monster, Keywords. Monsters, real big, or was... Um, I don't know with the the new ruling for uh, starting areas and colossals. I don't know how that's you know really going to affect a lot of the uh, the monster teams because I don't personally play monsters, but uh, you know that's definitely that's definitely going to do something. So 125 points for him. I give him. Uh, I don't know. I really like the the freeze vision. I probably only give him maybe. Two two blades, yeah, two out of six blades, definitely. Um, not uh, not not the best. Um, definitely a really cool sculpt and stuff. But I mean, what you expect from my a a, a Superman fig for Bizarro, um, crazy dial, big points. Um, I don't know. Just let's see what how, how much more of the set we get, uh, and uh, then we can go from there. But still. I give him two blades right now. Um, Jericho, I don't know. Jericho's got some cool stuff. <laughs> it's so funny because the uncommon's probably going to get uh, the most blades, even still. I mean, he's pushing four blades just because I think he's cool. But uh, three blades on him, three, three out of six. Uh, I love the perplex across the dial. He's got the good um, flight of powers across. I mean. I kind of like him, 75 and 50 points. Uh, you gain two extra clicks for that uh, 75 points. He's a total of six clicks long. Um, yeah, definitely, definitely solid three pushing four, four blades, but still, definitely. Um, 
so the that was uh, the preview, guys. I'm uh, I'm I don't know. I have all the sets. I'm super excited for this one. I was really excited for Earth X, but uh, I was more excited for the Inhumans in them. And I mean, Medusa was probably the best human out of Inhuman out of uh, Earth X. So I don't know. Um, this set I'm really excited for. Hopefully, some of the chases are a little bit better and pointed point value. Um, see the prime uh, for the prime super rare that's i'm kind of disappointed at that um i don't know guys uh really still really excited for this set either way um huge dc fan huge batman fan the uh the story that uh the, these are all based off of or excuse me but part of this set is based off of is one of my favorites so so hit that like button subscribe tell me what you think leave a comment down below uh, are you feeling the preview so far? We haven't got a whole lot yet, so it's really hard to, to say which which direction it's really going to go, but uh, I hope it's going to be a powerhouse set, kind of like uh, Batman the Animated Series. But uh, until next time, guys, uh, we'll see you.